What's up, animators? So today we'll make a UFO video using a tween. So we can get familiar with the motion tween here. Bye, animated UFO, which is sliding across our stage here. Uh, if your setup does not look like mine, your workspace, if your timeline panel is not up there, your toolbar is not on the left, your properties panel is not on the right, uh, go up here on the upper right hand corner. Uh, if it doesn't say classic, click on there, whatever word it says, and select classic. We have another version of uh, Adobe Animate. It has like a It'll be a little box with another box inside of it, kind of like panels, just like a window. Click inside there and select the classic option, and it'll give you this layout here. I like uh, this format over the other ones. All right, so let's make a UFO. We'll just make the basic cartoony UFO, uh, usually the server, right? They have like um, a pod in their center, a cockpit, lights around it, kind of like the UFO from The Simpsons. So we're just going to go with that, just the, just the essence of a UFO. That's gonna be, I'm going to use an oval, so it's going to be oval colored. I'm gonna go with the silver color here for the fill. There we go, and no stroke. I don't want the outline on it, no need for the stroke. Uh, if you don't want a stroke, click inside there and then select the option here with the slash through it, the little white box with the slash through it, there we go. Now I'm gonna drag, select across the stage here on the left side, upper left, and just whatever size you wanna go with. Not too big, cause then it's gonna take up your whole screen, your whole stage. So that looks good right there. So that's my main uh, saucer body there. And I want to make a cockpit, so I'm going to go with the blue color. So I'm going to go over here and go with the blue color for the cockpit. Whatever blue I want to go with. I guess this is a good blue right here. I want to make it off to the side a bit. It could be a perfect circle. It could also be an oval somewhat. Let's see there. I'm going to go over here to Selection Tool. And I'm going to click it one time. And I'm going to drag it over. Let's see, that looks good there. That looks good around, around there. So I want to leave room for the, the lights. And I'm just eyeballing it. It might not be directly in the center, but somewhat in the center. That's good. All right, so now to make my lights, I'm going to go over here to the oval tool again. And I'm going to use a yellow color to make the little lights there. Yellow, orange, red, whatever color you guys want to go with. Maybe green. Maybe you want green lights. I'll go with this uh, off yellow color here. And I'll make a small circle over here off to the side. Hold on the shift key, get a perfect circle. Maybe bigger so I don't have to make that many. Something like that. There you go. I click here. Selection tool. I'm going to click on the circle one time. And notice I didn't make it on top of here. I'm just going to start making duplicates from here. So I'm going to hold down the alternate key and drag one out. There we go. I'll start one right here in the center. And you can put them down here or on top, wherever you want. There you go. I'm going to go here again, select it. Hold on the alternate key, ALT, next to space bar. Hold on the left mouse button and drag out another duplicate there. And about there somewhere. Oops, undo. I let go of... Uh, I think I let go of Volt first and I put it back. Yeah, if I, if I let go of Volt first, it, puts, it uh, takes it back and it will make a duplicate. So let go of the mouse first and then let go of Volt. There we go. Make another one over here. Well, on low key, pull out the mouse. Let go of the mouse and let go of Volt. There we go. And around there. It's supposed to be going around it. Like that. Another one. There we go. So I click it one time, hold on the alt, hold down, click it again, and drag it out. And we'll put this one over here somewhere. I mean, let go right there and then use the mouse, the arrow keys on my keyboard. Play around with those. There we go. So I don't like the position of that one, but it's already, it's already there. It kind of clipped away right there. So I can fix that in a bit. Here's my last one here, and I'll put it around there. There we go. Now I'll click here and pull this one out. There we go, and pull this one out. And I'm just using the arrows on my on my keyboard. There we go. And now I'm gonna use a paint bucket to fill, in, to fill in those spots right there that didn't come out so well. I wanna have the same color as, um, as this here. So I'm gonna go over here to the yellow color and change it back to gray, oops. So what I forgot to do was deselect the um, that mesh there. So I'm gonna hit alternate A. Oh, so the tool activated. You go selection tool. I'll click here. There we go. Now the paint bucket. And now I'm going to go with this gray color. And I'm use the eyedropper here to sample this gray color there. There we go. So now my paint bucket is that gray color. It also tells me down there. I can just fill in those uh, those blank areas there with a the little arrow. Over over. Left click. And left click. There we go. It looks better. Maybe I don't like that light, but whatever. I'll leave it as is there. Cool. So there's my UFO. And I'm going to convert it to a symbol and have it fly across the stage. So to convert it in a symbol, drag select the whole thing. There you go, make sure the whole thing's selected. 
that should be the only thing made right now inside of my stage, or I can just click on the frame here. All right, whole thing selected, has a little mesh pattern there. Right click it, and then convert to a symbol. So if I'm gonna do a motion tween, that should be a symbol. Of the tween, motion tween, a symbol. Convert to symbol, and your symbol is supposed to be a graphic, so for type, change that over to graphic. There we go, and then for name, UFO. And as a best practice, do not use spaces uh, on naming your, uh, your symbols. If you're gonna use a space, use underscore or dash, but don't leave an empty space there. And registration will be the center. For registration, I want the center one. If I choose one off to the side, it's gonna use that as the pivot point. So I want it to register on the center. So type graphic, name it, no spaces, and registration center, okay. So now it's a graphic, cool. I can reuse this if I want to. And I'm gonna tween this all the way to frame 60. So I'm going over here to frame 60. And if uh, you didn't want to know how I made those frames bigger, I just went up here by these uh, mountain landscape icons and I held on the button there and dragged it out. So you're at 60. I'm going to right click 60. Usually I insert keyframes for, for a motion tween. You're going to just insert a frame. Just insert a frame. Because the key events, we're going to make them. So no need for keyframe. Let's go with insert frame. If you do a keyframe, then you're going to have run some problems. So just insert a regular frame for the motion tween. There we go. Now I'm going to right click inside the space bar here and create motion tween. Cool. So the tween has been uh, created. Now I got to go over to the last frame, frame 60 over here. Let me click on frame 60. Now I'm going to drag out my UFO selection tool there. Hold down the left mouse button on and drag it out across the stage. And there we go. There's my motion path. So each of these dots right here, each of the little pins has a corresponding frame. So for instance, this one right here, this is actually frame one. And then that's frame two, three. You can count them all the way down and you'll be at frame 60 over here at the end. All right, so let me hit the play button. There we go, just sliding on down, cruising on by. Let's give this a little more, more, more pop. So I'm gonna add some clouds. I'm gonna click right here on layer one, double click it. And name it UFO, that's gonna be my UFO layer. And then I'm gonna click on the sheet of paper up here, not the folder, not the folder, but the sheet of paper there, add a new layer, new layer. And this one's gonna be clouds. So I'm gonna double click layer two. Clouds, enter, there we go. Now I'm going over here with the oval tool. I'm going with some dark color, you know, different darker, dark, different dark color than that. Different gray, there we go. So make an oval there, make another oval there. And there we go, we're making clouds already. You know, there's one cloud and I'll make another cloud over here. And it's nice fluffy clouds. I'm just dragging ovals across the, uh, the thing. Hold on, left mouse button, drag across and get yourself an oval. There we go. All right, play button again. Cool, it's going behind the clouds. You go to the selection key right here, and bring it over, selection tool. Clicked on that one and brought it over. All right, so now I'm gonna lock the clouds. I don't wanna accidentally uh, mess those up, so I'm gonna lock the layer for the clouds. I like the position of the clouds there. There's my UFO. Now let me make the UFO layer the active layer. I'm gonna click on UFO. And I can hover my mouse over these little pins here and you'll get a little eyelash, like a little curve icon next to your path. So that actually means you can pull that, that pin there. So I'm gonna hover over this one, hold on the left mouse one and drag it out, see? There we go. I'm gonna go over here, hover over one of these and drag it up. All right, Max, maybe I'll just grab the UFO here at the end and pull it up. There we go. And I wanted to fly behind the clouds. There we go. And I'm trying to, UFO is trying to hide. There we go. Something like that. There we go. And if you get the um, the angle bracket, little right angle icon, that means you, you can get a corner like this, get a sharp end right there. Ooh, it's gonna twist. I don't like that. Control Z. I'll leave it like that. All right, so now play button, see what I get there. Cool. Go a little fast. Sound effects not included. Gotta make your own sound effects. There we go. Let me pull this one out somewhere over here. Sharper turns. There we go, cool. Maybe have it just go off the stage. Later. Oh, there we go, a little further, cool. Now I'm gonna save this file, save as. Animation looks good. You will follow motion tween. Save, 
There we go. All right, so I see there's a .fla file. I'm gonna file, save as, .fla, I can go back and work on it. Now I wanna make a video file, so I'm gonna file, uh, export to, uh, export video. And it wants to export as a .mov. I've uh, previously been exporting files at .mov. Uh, they're not coming out very well. It's a QuickTime player for uh, Apple. So I'm gonna click over here on convert video in Adobe Media Encoder. So to convert it to a different format, I'm gonna try MP4. I'm gonna hit click export. And yep, that's okay. I already made one earlier. Now it's gotta wait for the media uh, encoder to appear. It's a big application, so it might take a few seconds for it to appear. All right, so here it is. Uh, I want to do a uh, dot .mp4, that's good. It's a uh, h.264 uh, mp4. That'll be accepted in uh, social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I can just directly go right here and pick four. Got 3GP. I think I'll go back over to h.264. There we go. And I'll click on the display button here. And there we go, it's done. And that went over to the desktop, tells me right there, desktop. So I can go over to the desktop and look for that MP4 file. And it's right here. There we go, nice smooth animation. Whereas the uh, .mov, .mov file was not coming out so good. So let me check that one out. This was the .mov, it's a little choppy. This one's still the MP4. There we go, that's the .mov, very choppy, MP4. Tells me up here. MOV, real choppy, it's kind of jumping around the stage. MP4, real smooth. Cool, so that's it. Your motion between a UFO. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. You can also support the channel by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, or hitting the notification bell.